Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. What I have here in my hand is not just any old writable DVD, it is a copy of Windows 7 Beta 1 Build 7000, and I installed, I have, I have two copies actually, I have, as you can see right here, I have a, this is the 32-bit copy, I should have labeled them, and this is the, the 64-bit copy I have right here. So, what I've done is I've installed both, um, one by one, uh, on my Mac Pro via Boot Camp. Uh, the 32-bit install was very nice, same with the 64-bit. The only issue I had with 64-bit was I had to get an updated version of Boot Camp drivers for 64-bit, and it, with, for Vista, and it worked fine after that. Um, aside from that, like I said, the install was nice. It was, it was roughly the same installer as Windows Vista's, um, the 7 installer, that is. Had the same graphical interface. It was, it was pretty fast. Uh, Vista's installer, uh, when I installed it, it took about, I would say it took 30 minutes, 45 minutes maybe. This took anywhere from, I would say, 25 to maybe, you know, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes tops to install. So props to there, props there to Microsoft for the fast install. Nice and clean, good user interface in, in the installer. I like it a lot. Uh, moving right along, boot time. Uh, my boot time on Vista roughly was anywhere from a minute 30, um, sometimes a little less. Um, you know, anywhere on up. Uh, on, on 7, I've experienced boot time of, you know, and this may just be the Mac Pro, but from what I've seen, I hear, I've heard good things. For, you know, someone was running on a P4. They got it a minute, a little over a minute um, is what I'm hearing. Maybe under a minute, depending on what, you, what kind of system you have. So that's okay. nice. Boot time is really nice there, too. Uh, now, look, the task bar, that, or that people are calling the super bar, um, is nice. I like I like a lot of the features of the super bar. Um... I like the fact that you can preview windows and it'll it'll trans it'll make the other ones transparent so you can see through them. That's just a little cool little trick there um, that I think is actually helpful um, because you can focus on one window instead of having to focus on a, a number of them at once. Uh, the new taskbar again, the way it manages the windows is a little different, uh, whereas from previous versions of Windows, um, it is it's different, but you can actually change it back to a previous version look. Um, by default, it's set to hide the name of the window, the title, but you can show the title if you'd want or have it collapse the titles if the, if the taskbar is completely full. So either way, uh, you can have it however you like. I like the fact that you can easily uh, manipulate windows on the taskbar, whereas you can, uh, and, and windows, what I mean by windows is if you go to a, the taskbar, you hover over the... Uh, the certain tab in the taskbar for the program or the application or whatever window is, Windows Explorer or whatever the case may be, it, you can actually scroll through them just by hovering it over and, and moving your mouse ac across the windows. I thought that was cool. I think it's handy to be able to do that instead of having to surf through multiple windows, especially if you have a number of Explorer windows open. This is a nice way to manage it because you can totally see what you're doing, whereas blindly going through a million Explorer windows can be quite tedious. Um, so I do like that. Uh, what else? The firewall. The built-in firewall is beefed up, and I let and they have they added a new thing that I really like. Um, you can import and export policies for the firewall. So let's say you reinstall Windows, right? You're using the Windows firewall, and you don't want to retrain the whole thing again because how many times is that a pain in the butt to retrain the firewall settings? It's a pain in the butt. So all you have to do is export your old settings and then re-import them in. And it'll it'll save them, so you never have to retrain it ever again. Uh, I like that a lot. Set it once and you're good. Uh, also, they built in a Windows uh, diagnostic memory tool, a, a, a memory diagnostic tool, uh, where you can basically it, it'll it'll you open it, reboot, it'll start scanning your memory for errors and things like that. If you if you think you have a memory issue, great tool to test out that kind of thing. Uh, IE8, IE8, you know it's IE, um, Internet Explorer by the way. Look, it mimics a lot of Firefox things like suggested sites and the add-ons and the accelerators and things like that. Uh, will I switch back to IE? Probably not, but it's still a nice upgrade in terms of from IE7. I think they added a nice couple, couple nice things there that really, uh, you know, improve Internet Explorer just overall. Um, speed and performance. I've noticed a tremendous speed and performance increase from Vista. Um, and I, look, I liked Vista. I was never a Vista basher. I thought it was a good operating system. I still like it. I'm getting a text message now. Um, it's from my friend. 
Uh, anyway, I thought it was a good operating system, and it, it look, 7, while I thought it was good, 7 is just that much better. Really, in terms of speed and performance, I think that Vista, as much as it failed, is actually going to help Microsoft because of the, uh, because of the built-up hype over Windows 7. Whew, that was a lot of say. Anyway, another thing I noticed, uh, along with speed and performance, better resource management, I booted up, I had a couple applications open, I was using under, six, I was using around 600 megabytes of RAM, that's it. Just a couple applications open, that's, 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 that's XP-like right there. I like the lighter resources and, uh, ma and the better management of CPU and RAM usage, I like that a lot. Uh, last thing I want to talk about is the, I think this is one of the most important things, um, considering, of, considering Vista had so many compatibility issues. Now while Vista driver issues were not to be fully blamed on Microsoft in my opinion, because I think that the manufacturers, and I've been saying this since Vista came out, are responsible for making drivers that work with their hardware on the biggest operating system, uh, the most widely used operating system in the world. You know, that's not Microsoft's job to write drivers for someone else. That's the hardware manufacturer's job. Nonetheless, they built in a compatibility troubleshooter. And if you right click on any EXE or any installer, you can access the, tr you can troubleshoot compatibility and you run through this little, <clears throat> excuse me, dialogue. And you can set what, it, you can say, all right, it's, it gives you a couple options and say, uh, one of them, for example, is this application does not install or run. So you take that box or you can take something else if you'd like, or you can take a few of them. Click next, and it'll ask you what was the last thing that this application ran on. What was the last thing it worked on? And you can select Windows Vista, Windows XP, all the way down to Windows 95, really. And you can say, all right, it worked on Windows Vista, but it's not working on Windows 7. Click next. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. And then you're, it'll 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 analyze the problem, try and fix it, and it'll and then out of my time, out of me testing it, I have found that it works 80% of the time. 80%, that's pretty good. There was a couple times where I had a few issues that wouldn't run, but 80% of the time it ran, and it launched that installer, and it installed, and it worked fine from then on out. Then you can even save those settings, so if you have to reinstall that program, it'll remember. Really nice. I like that a lot. I think Windows 7 definitely is a nice upgrade. If Now look, I'm not going to sit here and say, if your machine is running Windows XP, and it came out when Windows XP came out, I'm not going to say upgrade to Windows 7, look. It's much lighter than Vista, but if your machine's currently running Vista or came with Vista and then you downgraded to XP, try Windows 7. I think you'll like it a lot. Definitely a nice system. Would I, am I going to switch away from OS X? You know, I was joking in the chat room about, about this yesterday, how I'm going to switch away. But I don't, look, OS X, Windows 7, different, different ball game. We'll get into another time. But I'm thinking you should check out Windows 7 Beta. I like it a lot. Leave me your thoughts on the blog and on the YouTube. And I'll, I'll, or send me an email, best tech it, best tech it on it, and I'll be happy to reply. Anyway, we'll see you next time. And remember, take care of your computers.